Yeah, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Untied here back with a new video. Now for some of you, this may be your first time ever hearing of me. Welcome to the channel. Um, this is basically my second channel. I'm a glitching channel. Um, I'm a glitching YouTuber. My main channel is Untied Glitches, which is almost at 5,000 subscribers. Um, this channel, I want to grow into my Call of Duty and ma mainly just video channel because I don't want to put Call of Duty content on my glitching channel. So I decided to start up this second channel. So yo, how's it going everybody? My name is Untied and in today's first video here on the channel, it's not the first video here on the channel, but it's the first non-glitching video here on the channel. So congratulations, man. We're going to get right into it. But this video basically today is just me ranting, me um, saying my pros and cons of the Call of Duty Cold War beta. Now, I was going to do one of these videos for the Call of Duty Cold War Alpha, basically the pre-beta, um, but I, just, I decided that was way too early to um, do. But since the game's almost a month out now, um, I do want to give my pros and cons um here in this video today so let me know if i should do more of these videos also subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new Dude, and let's go ahead need. and get right into this so i did have a chance to play the beta all four days so all four days i did have a chance to play the beta here on ps4 yes i did pre-order the game so i did get to play two days early before everybody who like got to download it for free um but that's what that's kind of what um i thought because it seemed like the game was a lot more fast paced and um, competitive than when it was free because I feel like and this is not a bad thing either I feel like uh, the beta had a lot of Warzone and Modern Warfare players now Modern Warfare the previous Call of Duty I personally was not a fan of at all it was too campy maps were too big for me players just played like aiming down corners every single time i did not like that at all i like more of a fast-paced gameplay like bo4 i really enjoyed bo4 because nobody really camped nobody really you know aim down corners crouch down corners it really wasn't a big thing like that now one thing i was disappointed with in this beta was that you couldn't kill, have That's ninja so, so basically ninja is the dead oh silence of this game God, and just saw if you guys play the game too, you, know, you guys game. will understand that the footsteps oh, are so flipping loud like you can hear somebody from pretty much a mile away coming at you and you can just snap towards there and get that kill instantly so i really would have liked to try out ninja um but unfortunately we did not get to do that i believe you unlock it at level 36 and the max level is level 25 i did get to the max level and that's why i'm kind of saying you giving you guys my pros and cons of what i enjoyed what i did not enjoy of the video so i guess we're gonna start with the cons because the cons always um go first in my opinion because then it gets lighter and better towards the end so cons we're gonna start with the main con of this game skill based matchmaking i know a lot of you hate skill based matchmaking including myself now don't get me wrong i love a competitive feel i love playing players on my same skill level but i don't like playing them all the time you know, um, there's a lot of people playing the Cold War beta. I was going up against a lot of sweaties just because I felt like I was kind of above average on the game. Um, you guys can determine that. This gameplay you guys are watching, by the way, is one of my first gameplays um, on the game. So this was before it was free. This is when you had to have it pre-ordered. Um, but skill-based matchmaking is definitely something they need to take out of the game. I don't like going... I, I mean, I like going up against people in my same skill level and even better because it will improve me as a player. But at the same time, if I'm trying to sit there back and play casual, I will have to play people who are on my skill level. And usually when you're on my skill level, you, you take the game a little more serious. You're not really a very casual player. So if I'm trying to play casual, I'm most likely not going to have a good time. I'm going to be going negative and everything like that. So that's the number one con I hated about the beta was skill based matchmaking because I felt like you were always getting in a lobby with people on your same level like I thought level 17 was the max level because when I was like level 15 I was getting into people with only level 17 not people with level 25 so not really good people but not really bad people either so that's one thing I would like to see improved I don't want skill based matchmaking in this call of duty I know they say that it has been in every call of duty but I don't believe that whatsoever 
the second con I do have I about this game a... is lethals and equipment. I feel I like nobody. grenades and yeah. flashbangs and concussions and everything like that were just so annoying in the beta. I know they improved on the maps. The maps are not as big as they were in Modern Warfare. And I believe we should go back to the BO4 version of like flashbangs and stuff where it has a load time so not every time you spawn you every time you spawn you won't spawn with equipment right away like you won't spawn with two grenades or two lethals right right away like flashbangs or anything it will have like a charge time to when you can throw those again because i swear every like every 15 seconds i was getting flash banged or hit with a grenade now another thing i do want to touch on is how freaking far you can throw grenades in this game i mean you can chalk that thing like you're brady or something dude i mean you can throw that thing so far and i just feel personally that it's unfair it makes the game not fun especially when you're trying to do you know capture an objective or something and you're just getting stunned and then grenaded and everything like that you're just dying and i know you can do it back but i don't see that as fun i like pushing in with my gun more um and another thing i do want to touch on now that we are on grenades is the throwback time on a grenade so say a grenade gets thrown at me i feel like your character picks it up like you have the option if you're really close to it to hit r1 and throw it back i feel like when i get that option and i hit that button my character is bending down as slow as possible it's like he's got 80 year old knees and he's grabbing it and then trying to cock it back and throw it like it takes about i think like two seconds to throw back a grenade and by that time i think out of like 10 grenades i tried to throw back i got back one I threw back one and I, it just needs to be more fast like I, I don't want to sit there and wait to throw back a grenade right away especially when I'm having that reflex to throw it back right on the dot now the third con I do want to touch on the third and probably final con I do Dude, want to touch on bro. is score streaks. yes score streaks now I don't like the score factor of score streaks I like how I like him being kill streaks. Um, I like Dude, how, how the if you you you're, you're going four and zero, maybe you get a UAV. Four? Not if you're going Two four and three, MVP? but because you got that X amount of score, you got a UAV. I don't like that at all because all it makes in the game is everybody calling in their streaks at the same time. I remember last night I was playing. I had an artillery shell, and I had it when thing. we were at a hundred and one in domination. So. I could I didn't call it I kid you not I couldn't call that thing in the whole game because I got it when everybody else got it and I could not call it in the whole game because everybody else was calling all their streaks in because we all got it around the same time because we're all getting around the same amount of score so I let I definitely like to see that out of the game that's a big one for me um, I want kill streaks back I don't want score streaks I want kill streaks um, and I guess that's it now we're gonna be moving on to the pros of this game I absolutely love the movement in this game. The movement feels like a BO4 type of movement. I liked BO4. Some of you did not like BO4. I feel like BO4 just got a lot of criticism for not having a campaign and stuff like that. But I love the movement in this game. It's not exos, but it's not so slow to the point where it feels like a slow combat game. This game feels very fast paced. And I just feel like these modern warfare and warzone players once again not picking on you guys yeah, but you guys will adapt to the faster play of the game because modern warfare was kind of a slower paced video game um and i did not like that at all so second pro that i can say about this game is the kill time the kill time i feel is really fast this year um i like that because that means if you're snappy, you know, you're going to be getting double kills, triple kills. And it's also not going to take you 30 rounds to kill somebody because that was just atrocious. That was atrocious in BO4. I liked Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare's kill time was good. And I feel like this game's kill time is good as well. But like a game like BO4, the kill time was just so long that you couldn't, you couldn't get, it was very rare to get like double kill or triple kills without being a high skilled player. I feel like in this game, you don't have to be a high skilled player to get those type of kills here in the game. And you also don't have to sit back the whole game as well. So I feel like it makes it fun for everybody here and stuff like that. Now, I do want to touch on, however, about how terrible and how terribly i hated vip escort 
I did not like VIP escort one bit. Um, I think it was in the game for a day where like if you were trying to play like the core mosh pit like TDM domination and kill confirmed you had to play vip escort so i did not like that at all um i was not a big fan of that i hated that and then they ended up changing it so i guess that was a pro um as well and i love the weapon balancing the last pro that i do have is i love the weapon balancing in this game an ar will destroy at long range a smg will destroy an ar at close range there is no um like AR that can be can sub in for an SMG and a AR. Now I do have one exception for that, and that is that Milano. I believe it's called the SMG. That thing needs a nerf. Okay, that thing definitely needs a nerf. It slays at close range and it slays at long range as well. I was using the thing for a long time. I was outgunning people with the XM4 from long range when I shouldn't have been I personally know that I shouldn't have been gunning them like that but at close range I believe I should be winning those fights it's a very good SMG it takes a little bit of skill to play with I believe and I'd love to see it balanced so that it's good at close range but can't dominate an AR at long range so I hope you guys did enjoy this video um, I know so leave, let me know down in the comment section down below what did you guys like about the beta what did you guys not like about the beta if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button I'm sorry for rambling on a long time um, but once again um, I'm trying to get this channel to 1,000 subscribers I will be uploading trying to upload daily here on the channel probably not daily right now because I'm gonna wait for Cold War to fully come out but with all that out of the way my name is Untied guys I'm out make sure you guys subscribe <laughs> peace